Hey everybody, welcome to Weld Pro Tips and Tricks. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a beginner's approach to welding polarity, understanding the differences between AC polarity and all of the nuances that go along with that, DC positive, sometimes referred to as reverse polarity, or DC negative, straight polarity. What do all of those terms mean? Polarity, defined most simply, is the direction of an electric or a magnetic field. Let's take a look at our first example of stick welding. In the stick welding process, there is a consumable electrode that must be melted into the molten weld pool. There is also a powdered flux on the outside of the electrode that needs burned off. It's for these reasons we might choose DC positive or reverse polarity. Take a look at the little example I've created. The W indicates the welding machine. During the DCEP process, the electrons flow into the ground clamp through the workpiece, establish the arc between the electrode, travel back up through the positive lead, and into the welding machine. Because the electrons are flowing through the electrode holder, we're actually creating more heat in the electrode itself to melt the filler material and the flux into the groove. With DCEP polarity, we're putting most of the heat into our electrode and less into the workpiece so we can work out of position with high deposition filler materials and not have a problem. Next, let's take an example of flux core wire and why we might want to run the DC electrode negative process while using flux core. When welding on DC electrode negative, the electrons still flow from negative to positive, but by changing the location of the electrode holder to the negative lead, we're changing the way the heat flows into the plate. When running flux core wire on DC electrode negative, we do have the advantage of repelling the ionization of oxygen and nitrogen at the wire. Now, the well pool will draw this ionization. However, we do have a powdered flux that will turn into slag and help protect our weld pool from contamination. When welding aluminum with TIG, there's an oxide layer that develops on the surface of the base material, so it's necessary to run AC polarity to remove this oxide layer. AC polarity is nothing more than a back and forth cycle between DC electrode negative and DC electrode positive at a specified frequency. While running AC polarity, the electrons flowing back and forth provide an adequate balance of both penetration and cleaning of the oxide layer on the surface of the aluminum. Weld Pro machines that are AC capable come with an AC-DC control switch on the front to make changing your polarity simple. Hopefully understanding how the electrons flow in each polarity setting will give you a better idea of what is best suited for each welding process. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave those below and we'll be glad to get back to you. From all of us here at Weld Pro, we can't wait to see what you build with your brand new welder.